Hello friends, welcome to Infigyan. In this very, very powerful video of algebraic challenging equations, we'll be solving an interesting hexic equation, x plus one whole power six plus x plus five whole power six equal to 730. We have to find out real values of x. While solving, I will use algebraic identities, manipulation, quadratic equation, synthetic division, quadratic formula, and we'll conclude our result. So let's get started by considering our substitution. If I will show on number line, this is our 1, this is 5. So I will give substitution to the midpoint, which is 3. So I will consider let y equal to x plus 3. If I am putting x plus 3 equal to y or y equal to x plus 3, then x plus 1 will be y minus 2 and x plus 5 will be y plus 2. You can check. So I will write this one as y minus 2 whole power 6 plus y plus 2 whole power 6 equal to 730. Now substitution again. I am going to write y plus 2 as a so let me write here and y minus 2 respectively b. Now our equation will convert it into a power 6 plus b power 6 equal to 730. Okay. Now I will write our equation as a square whole cube using exponent property plus b square whole cube equal to 730. Now a cube plus b cube. Let me write this formula a cube plus b cube. We will be writing a plus b a square plus b square minus a b in second parenthesis. This is separate bracket. Okay. So let me write here. I will write a plus b. So a square plus b square in second bracket will have a power 4 plus b power 4 minus a square b square equal to 730 as it is. Now a square plus b square we will find out because a is y plus 2 respectively a power 4 plus b power 4 we will find out. So if I can convert a power 4 plus b power 4 in terms of a square b square yes we can write so let me write this bracket as a square plus b square unchanged and this one I will write a square plus b square whole square so minus 3 a square b square this is the trick you can say it is the need actually okay now our job is to find out a square plus b square and a square b square so first I will write see this is our a and this is our b. So let me write a square first. a square will be y square plus 4y plus 4. Similarly b square y square minus 4y plus 4. Now I am going to find out a square plus b square. So let me write here a square plus b square. So that value will come out twice of y square plus 4. And then 4y minus 4y will be cancelled out. Now a square times b square. See it is required here. Here. So a square b plus b square task is done. Now a square b square. So let us write a square b square product. So if I will write a square b square. Then I will be writing this bracket times the second bracket. Now you can see I can write this one as y square plus 4 plus 4y. This is a square. b square will be y square plus 4 minus 4y. Now if I will consider a and b, you can see a plus b, a minus b, the difference of a square formula. So I will write y square plus 4 whole square minus b square. 
सो बी स्क्वायर इज फोर वाई होल स्क्वायर सो सिक्सटीन वाई स्क्वायर सो वी हैव कल इंक्लूडेड ए स्क्वायर बी स्क्वायर दिस इज अवर ए स्क्वायर बी स्क्वायर so this value is important and this value is important we are going to put over there so let me write here i will write two times y square plus 4 bracket a square plus b square whole square so let me write 4 y square plus 4 whole square done minus 3 this one a square b square So minus three, so I will write minus three, y square plus four whole square, and minus three times minus sixteen plus forty-eight y square equal to seven hundred thirty. This is the most important step in the solution part. Now you can see if I will take away four y square plus four whole square minus this much, so I will be having y square plus 4 whole square only plus 48 y square okay let me use curly bracket here outside it is y square plus 4 and right hand side unchanged 730 okay now divide both sides by 2 first so let us divide i will write 4 square y square plus 4 it is not 4 square y square plus 4 in bracket we are having let me write y square plus 4 whole square plus 48 y square and rhs will have 730 divided by 2 so let me write 365 okay now you can easily see y square plus 4 is there so let me give again substitution I will write y square plus four is equal to t. Okay, this is very important substitution. So y square will be equal to t minus four. It would be required. Let's put the value t in bracket. We'll be having. Let me write. It is t square plus forty-eight y square t minus four. Okay. Equal to three hundred and sixty-five. Expand this one. I will be having t cube plus forty-eight t square minus one ninety-two t minus three sixty-five equal to zero. Once you will expand, you will have one cubic polynomial, cubic equation. Now turn off rational root theorem, which is See, let's find out the factors of 365. Then we'll be having very selective because plus minus one, plus minus five, and plus minus seventy three. If I am not wrong, then we'll have these much eligible factors. And see the leading coefficient we are having one, so plus minus one may be the factors. So once you will divide, there are fixed number of factors which. will help us to find out the base solution or root so let me put t equal to 1 first or t equal to minus 1 it won't satisfy see 1 plus 48 minus 192 minus 365 negative is having bigger number so it won't satisfy it is not equal to 0 so let me put directly t equal to 5 so it will become 5 cube plus 48 times 5 is square Minus one ninety two times five minus three sixty five. If you will check, this value is coming out one twenty five plus this is twelve hundred. So twelve hundred one ninety two times five it will give us nine hundred and sixty minus three sixty five. This is thirteen twenty five one thousand three hundred twenty five. It is zero. that means t is equal to 5 is our solution of the cubic polynomial so immediately i will consider synthetic division to find out the remaining factors or roots solutions so 148 minus 192 minus 365 okay let's put the line over there leading coefficient as it is 
53 times 5. It will give us 73. 73 times 5, 365. 0. So ultimately what we are having t equal to 5 and then this quadratic t square plus 53t plus 73 equal to 0. Okay. Now I will solve this quadratic equation. Once I will solve this quadratic equation, let me write here 53t plus 73 equal to 0. I will be having t equal to minus 53 plus minus square root 2517 over 2. Now if you will check the value of square root 2517 then this value is 50.169. If I will put here, then t is coming out negative. t will be always negative. So one important conclusion from here, because see we are trying to find out real solution. t is substitution, t is y square plus 4. Here it is. So I will put y square plus 4 and which is coming out negative then y square will be more negative something minus 4 so it would be negative point is y would be complex number or complex value so y will give us complex solution and our substitution was x plus 3 equal to y so x would be your complex solution so we will reject this quadratic equation it is t square we will reject this quadratic equation for solution because it will provide us complex solution. So t is equal to 5 is the only accepted solution. Let's put the value of t. So t is equal to 5. So what was our substitution t? t was y square plus 4. So I will write y square plus 4 equal to 5. y square is equal to 1. That means y is equal to either plus, let me write here, plus minus 1. So y will be either plus 1 or y would be minus 1. Okay. So our substitution was x plus 3, we substituted y. So let me write here, x plus 3 is equal to 1, x plus 3 equal to negative 1. So we are having now x is equal to negative 2 from this equation and from this equation negative 4. Two real solutions and four complex solution which we rejected. Okay, because we are finding real solution. If you want to find, you we can solve that part also. Okay, let's verify now. So x is equal to minus 2. Let me write here verification. x is equal to minus 2. And here we will verify negative 4. Okay. Let me put x is equal to minus 2 here in this equation. So it will become minus 2 plus 1. So minus 1 power 6 plus minus 2 plus 5. 3 power 6. So this value will be negative 1 power e1. So plus 1. 3 power 6 is 729. 3 power 4 is 81. 6 is 729. So that value would be 730 which is true. So this solution is verified. Okay. Now come to x is equal to negative 4. Okay. I will put there x is equal to negative 4. So it will give us negative 3 power 6 plus 1 power 6. Again it will give same result 729 plus 1 which is equal to 730 equal to our RHS. That means two real solution x is equal to minus 2 and minus 4. I hope you like this video, learned something from this video. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. If you want to see more and more, 
बाय टिल नेक्स्ट वीडियो गुड लक